Google Glass has just got a little bit weirder. Google Glass is, of course, the head-mounted display, the smartphone on your face. That's expected to come out later this year or in 2014. And I'm sure Apple's working on a similar system. Uh, Google filed a patent for what they call a bone conduction audio device. So it looks like these things aren't even going to have headphones. They're just going to have some sort of a device that vibrates on your skull, and then your inner ear picks up the audio. So these things are going to be really interesting when they're unleashed on the culture. I mean, people already can't get away from their smartphones. So what's going to happen when the smartphone is just sitting there right on your face when these things become as popular as sunglasses or earrings or wristwatches? This is going to be interesting. So Google filed the patent. It just vibrates and you know goes into your inner ear. Kind of a neat little thing. Apparently, it's the uh, same device as some scuba, device, scuba uh, diving systems use. Also, an interesting similarity to what's called the microwave hearing effect or the radio frequency hearing effect, which the Air Force patented in the 1990s, where from satellites or you know just handheld devices, they can beam waves, microwaves, into people's ears and then uh, you can't tell where they're coming from, where the sound is coming from. It just, you hear it, people hear it in their, in their head. Just hear it in their head. A lot of people think that they've, t I'm, sure, I'm sure that they have tested these devices, um, you know, secretly, of course, just terrible, inhumane tests uh, using these radio frequency hearing devices on people. I mean, we know that they've secretly tested LSD on people, luring them to hotel rooms with prostitutes, giving the Johns LSD, and then watching with hidden cameras and behind two-way mirrors to see what happens. So, of course, since they patented this technology in the 1990s, of course, I'm sure they've tested this. Can you imagine uh, the kinds of tests that have been done with this? Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, for example, uh, said that, or w some reports have said that he claimed that Allah visited him in his jail cell uh, finally and then said to come clean and then he started cooperating with authorities. So I wouldn't be surprised if they've used or are using this uh, kind of device, the radio frequency device, on prisoners and making them think that God's just talking to them. You know, just beam it into their, into their jail cell. Uh, but uh, the Google Glasses is going to be interesting. I mean, people already can't get away from their smartphone. You can't have dinner with a group of people without half of them sitting on their smartphone, texting, playing Angry Birds, doing who knows what, checking in, bragging, oh, I'm having dinner at such and such a place, taking pictures of their, their dinner, posting it on their Facebook. I mean, who knows, man? We're, we, are, we think that we're zombies now. Just wait until you get your smartphone on your face, your Google Glasses. And then not to mention it has a camera and a microphone on it. So at least, I mean, now when, you know, when you can tell when people pull out their smartphone and start videotaping people, unless somebody's wearing a, a hidden camera, which is pretty rare, you can tell when you're being videotaped, you know, by somebody with their smartphone when they're going to, when they're doing something with it, they're going to put it on, going to put it on uh, YouTube or whatever. But now, or in a few months, in a few months later this year, next year, What's the culture going to be like? What's society going to be like when, I, I don't who knows, a third, half the people are going to be wearing these HMDs, head-mounted displays? They just have a camera where they just could be recording at any time? You're sitting around having lunch with a bunch of coworkers talking trash about your boss, and then all of a sudden, boom, not just audio, but video of you talking trash about your, vo your boss appears on YouTube, appears on Facebook. It's privately emailed to management, upper management. That's going to be interesting. Not much has been released about the Google Glasses or Apple's Google, what, Apple's whatever they're going to call it. But I'm sure that your smartphone or your cell phone is going to have to turn into some sort of a touchpad. So there'll probably be a cursor on the screen on your, you know, your uh, head-mounted display. And then you can maneuver that touchpad with your, that, that, that cursor with your touchpad on your cell phone. So just imagine now. I mean, we have people walking around. <laughs> Once you put your smartphone on your face, people are really not going to unplug from the system. And then, of course, the next step is they want to just wire that into your brain. Ray Kurzweil, the futurist, who's a millionaire, by the way, and, and a popular inventor. 
holds numerous patents. Ray Kurzweil, that whack job that, um, you know, believes that we're going to create God. Yeah, have you seen, have you read any of his books? I, I have one of his books. Have you seen any of his, any of his interviews, any of his films? <laughs> this whack job was asked, if there's a God, and he says, well, I would say not yet. We're going to create God with the infinite intelligence, the super intelligent being, with the singularity, the artificial intelligent beast system. Lucifer, the all-knowing, all-seeing, all-doing, magical cloud, skynet, whatever you want to call it, system that at some point in the next, who knows, several years, several decades, looks like it's going to become activated and become online. So that's great. Let's just plug into it with our Google Glasses. It's vibrating sounds right into our ears. That's, that's fantastic. And having a live microphone and a camera on it at all times. Fascinating. Welcome to the brave new world order, the Orwellian nightmare. So these things aren't on the market yet, but they're releasing them to developers. And it's only a matter of months, really before we start seeing the uh, beginnings of the cyborgization of America, of the world.